What's up YouTube, Mr. LaMessi here, and today we're going to be talking about rushing. Um, what is rushing? What is G-rushing? What is C-rushing? How it happens, the benefits of each, why you would use them in different situations. I understand that this is something a lot of people uh, might have some questions about, and so I think it's good to go ahead and discuss. So the first thing we can just talk about is what is rushing? Rushing is having a high-level character take your character and get them through the game very quickly. So you can start out with a level one, and instead of you having to play through everything, they say, hey, here's the Catacombs level two waypoint, or here's a TP to Endariel, you kill Endariel at the end of act one, or they kill them for you, and then you're in act two, right? Very simple. And you can do this all the way through the game. So you can do this for each difficulty, but where there actually needs to be a little bit of discussion is when you get to the end of a difficulty and what's moving forward beyond that. Because in LOD, Lord of Destruction, the expansion, when you get to Act 5, you have the Ancients quest. And for the Ancients quest, you need to be level 20, level 40, and level 60 to complete these. So, if you're not level 20, 40, 60, even if somebody's rushing you through, you can't complete this quest, which means you can't get to bail, so then you can't go through the game, right? So this is where G-rushing comes into play, which is called glitch rushing. That's what the G stands for. And so what happens with glitch rushing is you have what's called a bumper. And this is somebody who actually needs the bail quest who is a high enough level. So this person is at least level 20 or 40. You don't need 60 because you're not really glitch rushing in hell because you don't need to go to another difficulty, right? But they need to be level 20 for normal or level 40 for nightmare. So you go through and you rush the people at level 1, right? Because you can do Act 1, Act 2, Act 3, Act 4, all of that. You can just go and the, the person rushing can clear everything out. And the person who's level 1, as long as they're in the party, gets through and can move to the next act. When they get to Act 5, they will go and do the Ancients for that person. And or if the Ancients are already done, that's fine. And they'll go and kill Bail. And as long as one person in the party needs the Bail quest done, which means they had the Ancients done and are now sitting on the Bail quest, so this is what the bumper does, everybody in the party gets the Bail quest completed. So all of those level ones sitting in town, they don't even have to be there because they can't because they can't go through portals because they didn't do the ancients, right? They don't even have to be in the throne or worldstone chamber or anything. As long as they're sitting in town and partied and one person, the bumper, gets the quest completion for bail, everybody bumps into Nightmare and can then go through Nightmare difficulty. So this is what happens. You have your six level ones and your one person who needs to bump and your one person who's rushing. The rusher gets everybody to act five, kills Bale with that bumper there. Everybody goes to Nightmare. Then you do the same thing through Nightmare. You have a bumper again for Nightmare. You bump them all through. You get to Hell and then you can rush everybody up through Hell. Now some of you might also be saying, what do you do when you're a level one in Hell? And this is where chaos runs come into effect. So chaos runs are going to be the best experience, basically. There is always a penalty um, for trying to get experience that is too high, right? If you are level 1. It goes away at level 25, but if you're level 1, I think there's actually a small penalty still uh, eventually, but that's fine. If you're level 1, though, monsters that are going to be 10 levels above or higher than you are going to be worth significantly less experience. So, um, normally, if you're just doing, like, normal bails at a level 1, you're not getting a ton of experience and everything. But it doesn't matter if you're in Hell Chaos, because a monster in Hell Chaos could be worth, you know, let's say it's worth, like, 30,000 experience. Even if you're only getting 5% of that, that's still a ton of experience for a level 1. So you're going to get massive experience there, and this is where you do the Chaos runs, and you just have the level 1s kind of run around and just hide... And then everybody else, the, the people that can actually kill the chaos, run around, kill everything, and those people level up very quickly. Once they hit level 25, they'll start leveling up even faster. Um, and this is a quick way to get a character to a high level, just doing those chaos runs after you've been leveled or rushed through the game. So, one other way. Let's say that you don't have 
a, uh, a bumper. You can't find a bumper at all. One other way that you can do this is what's called sea rushing. And this requires having somebody that has a character that can blast through the game or rush you who is um, still in classic because C rush stands for classic rush. So one thing that some of you might know or might not know is that Diablo 2 classic doesn't have act five. It's acts one, two, three, and four. Act five was brought in um, at the very end in LOD. So you don't have to worry about ancients at all. So a C rush means as long as you have somebody who has a high enough level classic player, they can just take you through act one, two, three, and four and then you automatically go to Nightmare, where they can do the same, and then you automatically go to Hell. Then, once you're at that point, you can convert your character into a LOD character. So I can actually show you a little bit about this real fast. As I just had a character who was C-Rushed. So you can see right here, if you create a new character, you click Pre-Expansion. This is classic. Okay? So you, you, you make a Pre-Expansion character, and then you can name them, do whatever it is. And then once you have a character right here, there is this button down in the bottom right. And I, I'm going to do, oops. Nope. <laughs> Hold on. Let me grab the game. <laughs> Perfect. This button in the bottom right that says convert to expansion. Okay. So you can take your classic character once he's been rushed through the game. You do this. You say yes. And now this character is a uh, Lord of Destruction character that is in Hell. So he can make Hell games. And we didn't need a bumper whatsoever to do this. So this is the way that you can do that. And then additionally, this character also doesn't have his ancient quest done in Normal and Nightmare. Which means, at some point, I can go back to normal and nightmare once I've leveled up further, and I can do the Ancients quest and get the bonus experience from doing those, get the level, whatever it is, right? So this is a very nice way to get a character through if you don't have a bumper but do have a classic character. So that is a C rush, that is a G rush, that is rushing in general and some chaos runs right there. Um, this is a very effective way to get characters quickly into hell uh, for the people who you've already beaten the game, you've already played through it, now you just want to gear this character up and you know get them started for their magic finding or whatever it is, uh, and you don't feel like playing through again. Very common uh, and very effective way to do so. Um, yeah. So I hope that this was helpful and you learned some stuff. Mwah! Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace, YouTube.